Hi friends, welcome back to Ranga Sir. Hope all of you have enjoyed watching the previous video of time and distance and learned how to solve the questions related to time and distance in a very simple way using the concept ratio. If you have not watched, please check in the link given below and watch it now. Now today in this video, we are going to learn about a topic called problems on trains, which is a continuation to time and distance. If you have not subscribed to our channel, please, please subscribe it now. Now let us look into the questions in problems on trains. Now before we look into the questions, let's talk about some basic points in trains. Now if suppose this is a pole and this is a train. If this train has to cross this pole, what is the distance the train has to travel? Definitely to cross a pole, the distance the train has to travel would be the length of the train. Next, if suppose this is a bridge and to cross a bridge, what is the distance the train has to travel? To cross a bridge, the train has to travel a distance equal to the length of the bridge, but here it did not cross. To cross, it has to travel another extra distance that is the length of the train. So the point here is to cross a pole. Now it can be a pole or it can be a man or it can be a tree. That is any object whose length is length is negligible with respect to the length of the train. So to cross a pole, a train has to travel a distance equal to the length of the train. And to cross a bridge, now it can be a bridge, it can be a platform, it can be a tunnel or it can be another train also. So to cross a bridge, what is the distance the train has to travel? The length of the bridge plus length of the train. So these are the two basic concepts that we must know before we answer the questions in this chapter without using a formula. Without using a formula in a very simple way not making the calculations complex in a very simple way. Now let us look into the first question. A train crosses a pole in 14 seconds. It crosses a bridge of length 240 meters in 26 seconds. Find the time taken by the train to cross a bridge of length 480 meters. Now what is the mistake generally the students do? Here if you look carefully, to cross a bridge of length 240 meters, the train takes 26 seconds. The question is, what is the time taken by the train to cross a bridge of length 480? 240, 480, 26, they say 52, which is a wrong answer. Now, how to analyze it and how to answer it? Isko kaisa analyze karke, kaisa answer kar sakte hai, easy method mein. Abhi hum dekhenge. Now, let us see. Now, to cross a pole, the train is taking 14 seconds. Now, tell me, what is the train doing in 14 seconds? A 14 seconds mein train kya kar raha hai? It is traveling a distance equal to the length of the train. So in that 14 seconds, the train travels a distance equal to the length of the train. Wo 14 seconds mein kitna distance travel kar raha hai? Jo train ka length hai, utna distance travel kar raha hai. Now we, do we know the length of the train? We do not know. Let us assume the length of the train is L meters. Hum ye leke maane ki train ka length L meters hai. Now, the train will travel L meters in 14 seconds because to cross a pole, the train has to travel a distance equal to the length of the train and we have assumed the length of the train is L meters. So to travel a distance equal to L meters, the train takes 14 seconds. So L meters travel karne ke liye train ko 14 seconds chahiye. Next, it crosses a bridge of length 240 meters. Now what is the distance the train has to travel? To cross a bridge of length 240 meters, 240 meters bridge cross karne ke liye train ko kitna distance travel karna padega. To cross a bridge of length 240 meters, the train has to travel a distance equal to the length of the train plus length of the bridge. So to travel a distance equal to L plus 240 meters, the train will take 26 seconds. So, L plus 240 meters travel karne ke liye train ko 26 seconds chahiye. So, ye 26 seconds mein kitna distance travel kar raha hai? L plus 240 meters travel kar raha hai. Now, what is the question asked? Find the time taken by the train to cross a bridge of length 480 meters. Now, to cross a bridge of length 480 meters, what is the distance the train has to travel? 480 meters bridge ka length 
क्रॉस करने के लिए उसे कितना डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल करना पड़ेगा इट इज नथिंग बट एल प्लस फोर एटी सो द क्वेश्चन इज टू ट्रेवल ए डिस्टेंस इक्वल टू एल प्लस फोर हंड्रेड एंड एटी मीटर्स हाउ मच टाइम विल दट ट्रेन टेक एल प्लस फोर एटी मीटर्स ट्रेवल करने के लिए कितना टाइम लेगा ट्रेन दट इज अ क्वेश्चन वेरी सिंपल एनालाइजिंग इसको कितना सिंपली एनालाइज करके सिंपल आंसर दे सकते हैं अभी आप देखेंगे नाउ सी ऑल ऑफ यू केयरफुली एल मीटर्स होप मेनी ऑफ यू मैडम एनालाइज टिल नाउ एल मीटर्स फोर्टीन सेकेंड्स एल प्लस टू फोर्टी ट्वेंटी सिक्स सेकेंड्स डेफिनेटली इन दिस एल प्लस टू फोर्टी टू ट्रेवल एल मीटर्स ऑलरेडी वी नो दैट द ट्रेन टेक्स फोर्टीन सेकेंड्स देन हाउ मच टाइम विल द ट्रेन टेक टू ट्रेवल टू फोर्टी एल प्लस टू फोर्टी ट्वेंटी सिक्स इन दैट एल फोर्टीन टू फोर्टी सो द ट्रेन विल ट्रेवल टू फोर्टी मीटर्स इन हाउ मेनी सेकेंड्स ट्वेंटी सिक्स माइनस फोर्टीन ट्वेल्व सेकेंड्स सो ये टू फोर्टी मीटर्स ट्रेवल करने के लिए ट्रेन को कितना टाइम लेगा ट्रेन कितना टाइम लेगा ट्रेन विल टेक ट्वेल्व सेकेंड्स सो ट्रेन टेक्स ट्वेल्व सेकेंड्स टू ट्रेवल टू फोर्टी मीटर्स नाउ अवर आंसर The question is how much time will the train take to cross a bridge of length 480 meters in another way how much time will the train take to travel a distance equal to l plus 480 meters to travel l meters how much time will the train take 14 seconds 14 plus to travel 480 meters to travel 240 meters the train takes 12 seconds to travel 480 meters how many seconds will it take 240 into 2 is 480 12 into 2 should be 24 seconds. So to travel a distance equal to 480, the train takes 24 seconds. So totally, how much time will it take? 14 plus 24. The answer is 38 seconds. अभी आप देख सकते हैं हमने कितना simple answer किया without performing cross multiplication. बिना cross multiplication के many students they try to perform cross multiplication. By finding out the speed of the train by writing l by fourteen, l plus two forty by twenty six, they do cross multiplication. They find the length of the train and then they answer the question, which is a very lengthy process. So a simple way is to analyze. First analyze करे और फिर बाद में answer करे. L meters fourteen seconds, l plus two forty twenty six seconds. In that l meters fourteen seconds. So we came to know that to travel two forty meters, the train takes twelve seconds. So to travel 480, the train will take 24 seconds. So to travel L plus 480, L meters 14 seconds, 480, 24 seconds. So the train will take 38 seconds to cross a bridge of length 480 meters. Hope all of you understood how to answer the previous question, previous model of question without using the formula of speed equal to distance by time and performing cross multiplication. Once again, the basic. To cross a pole, what is the distance the train has to travel? The length of the train. To cross a bridge, what is the distance the train has to travel? The length of the train plus length of the bridge. Now, using that basic point, let us see how easily we can solve this question in a very simple way. All of you look here. A train cross a bridge of length 127 meters in 18 seconds. It crosses another bridge of length 217 meters in 28 seconds. Find the length of the train. A train 127 meters bridge cross करने के लिए उसे 18 seconds चाहिए. वही train दूसरा bridge जो 217 meters length का है उसे cross करने के लिए 28 seconds ले रहा है. I have to find what is the length of the train. Train का length कितना है मुझे find out करना है. Now coming to the basic point to cross a bridge. What is the distance the train has to travel? To cross a bridge, a train has to travel a distance equal to length of the train plus length of the bridge. Here we do not know the length of the train, so assume the length of the train as L. So if I assume the length of the train yeah as L, अगर मैंने train का length L लिया, L meters लिया, तो पहला step to cross a bridge of length 127 meters, 127 meters bridge cross करने के लिए कितना डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल करना पड़ेगा ट्रेन को एल प्लस वन हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी सेवन मीटर्स सो टू क्रॉस ए ब्रिज ऑफ लेंथ वन ट्वेंटी सेवन मीटर्स द ट्रेन हैज टू ट्रेवल ए डिस्टेंस इक्वल टू एल प्लस वन ट्वेंटी सेवन मीटर्स एंड टू ट्रेवल दिस डिस्टेंस इट इज टेकिंग एटीन सेकेंड्स सो एल प्लस वन ट्वेंटी सेवन मीटर्स डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल करने के लिए ट्रेन ने एटीन सेकेंड्स का टाइम लिया द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट It crosses another bridge of length 217 meters. 
to cross a bridge of length 217 meters what is the distance the train has to travel definitely it has to travel l plus 217 meters so to travel a distance equal to 217 meters 217 meters bridge cross करने के लिए कितना distance travel करना पड़ेगा train को length of the train plus 217 meters and to travel this much distance it is taking 28 seconds का time ले रहा है वो now simple analyzing इसको cross multiply मत करो if you start doing cross multiplication you are wasting time Finding out the speed and performing cross multiplication, you are wasting time. See the numbers here, 127 into 28, 18 into 217, will you be able to do it in 5 seconds? Definitely no. Now simple analyzing, simple analyze karo isko, why is the train taking here 28 seconds and why is it taking here only 18 seconds? Definitely here it is taking more time because here it is traveling more distance compared to this. How much is that extra distance? यहां पे ज्यादा डिस्टेंस ट्रैवल कर रहा है इसको कंपेयर करने से कितना ज्यादा ट्रैवल कर रहा है इट इज 217 127 दैट इज 90 मीटर्स डेफिनेटली टू ट्रैवल दैट 90 मीटर्स इट इज टेकिंग एक्स्ट्रा टाइम व्हाट इज दैट एक्स्ट्रा टाइम 28 18 दैट इज 10 सेकंड्स सो द पॉइंट एनालाइजिंग पॉइंट हियर इट इज दैट द ट्रेन विल ट्रैवल 90 मीटर्स इन 10 सेकंड्स इन 1 सेकंड हाउ मच डिस्टेंस विल इट ट्रैवल 90 by 10 which is 9 meters so the train travels 9 meters in one second now you can tell the answer either by taking this or by taking this now let's take this and answer the question in one second the train travels 9 meters how much distance will it travel in 18 seconds 9 into 18 9 8 are 72 7 is a carry 9 ones are 9 plus 7 16 so the train will travel 162 meters in 18 seconds but already we know that the train will travel l plus 127 meters in 18 seconds so definitely l plus 127 should be equal to 162 l plus 127 jo hai wo 162 meters ke barabar so how much is l 162 minus 127 12 minus 7 5 5 minus 2 3 so the length of the train here is 35 meters so you can clearly see how easy it is to answer this question without performing cross multiplication and solving the question in a very simple way all of you might have understand how to answer the questions in trains in a very simple way by analyzing the question and looking into the points what we have learned aap, aap sabko ye samajh mein aaya hoga ki ट्रेंड्स में प्रॉब्लम्स कैसे सॉल्व करेंगे बिना फार्मूला यूज करे सिंपल एनालाइजिंग करके नाउ आई वांट ऑल ऑफ यू टू सिंपली एनालाइज एंड ट्राई टू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन इन 5 सेकंड्स गिव इट ट्राई आफ्टर रीडिंग द क्वेश्चन आई विल रीड द क्वेश्चन आफ्टर रीडिंग द क्वेश्चन टेक 5 सेकंड्स एंड ट्राई टू आंसर इट अ ट्रेन ट्रैवलिंग एट अ स्पीड ऑफ 36 किलोमीटर पर आवर क्रॉसेस अ प्लेटफार्म इन 40 सेकंड्स and a man standing on the platform in 26 sorry in 24 seconds find the length of the platform all of you give it try and try to answer this question in a single step simply analyze it now my question to you is what is the train doing in 40 seconds all of you say sir in 40 seconds it's crossing a platform if you think like that definitely you will not get the answer tell me once again or think once again what is the train doing in 40 seconds in 40 seconds, we know that it's crossing a platform that is given in the question. What is the train doing in 40 seconds? It is traveling a distance equal to the length of the train. If I assume the length of the train is L, it will travel a distance equal to length of the train plus length of the platform. If I assume length of the platform is P, in 40 seconds, it will travel a distance equal to length of the train plus length of the platform in 40 seconds. ये 40 सेकंड्स में ट्रेन क्या कर रहा है वो प्लेटफार्म क्रॉस कर रहा है वो मैंने दे दिया क्वेश्चन में लेकिन एक्चुअली इफ यू एनालाइज अगर करेक्ट एनालाइज करेंगे तो क्या करे क्या कर रहा है ट्रेन 40 सेकंड्स में इट इज ट्रैवलिंग अ डिस्टेंस इक्वल टू लेंथ ऑफ द ट्रेन प्लस लेंथ ऑफ द प्लेटफार्म नेक्स्ट एंड अ मैन स्टैंडिंग ऑन द प्लेटफार्म इन 24 सेकंड्स नाउ टू क्रॉस अ मैन व्हाट इज द डिस्टेंस द ट्रेन हैज टू ट्रैवल डेफिनेटली 
the length of the train. So when I ask you, what is the train doing in 20 second, 24 seconds? अगर मैं पूछूं कि ये 24 seconds में train क्या कर रहा है? आप बोलेंगे सर man को cross कर रहा है। वो मैंने दे दिया question में। क्या analyze कर रहे हो? आप in 24 seconds it is traveling a distance equal to the length of the train. So what is the length of the train we have assumed? L meters. So the train travels L meters in 24 seconds. It travels L plus P meters in 40 seconds. It travels L meters in 24 seconds. Now analyze, analyze L meters already we know it takes 24 seconds. So to travel a distance equal to P meters, it should take 40 minus 24 that is 16 seconds. It means that whatever the distance the train travels in these 16 seconds, that will be the length of the platform. So here distance is nothing but speed into time. What is speed given to us? 36 kilometers per hour. But here time is given in seconds. So converting kilometers per hour into meters per second is into 5 by 18 into the time. Time is 16 seconds. So 18 ones, 18 twos. 16 into 5 into 2 is 10. 16 into 10, it is 160 meters. So the length of the platform here would be 160 meters. Hope all of you might have understood how to answer the questions in trains. All of you have understood the logic behind solving the questions in trains. So now I want all of you to use the same logic and answer this particular question not taking more than 10 seconds. And I want to and I want all of you to leave the answer in the comment. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe our channel.